In the intricate landscape of your person's internal world, a profound experience unfolds as they grapple with what seems like a cascade of self-talk and a plethora of conversations echoing within the corridors of their mind. In navigating this labyrinth of thoughts, a realization begins to crystallize, an inkling that what they're experiencing might transcend mere introspection, it could be the subtle dance of telepathy, an ethereal connection manifesting between the two of you. This realization, however, is not without its challenges. The inherent limitations in accessing you, be it physically or emotionally, add a layer of complexity to their inner world. The innate human desire for connection, for the free expression of emotions, becomes a driving force, causing a palpable yearning within them. It's as if the very fabric of their being is aching for that authentic and unbridled conversation, where emotions can flow freely, unencumbered by the constraints of circumstance. As this emotional saga unfolds, the nexus between their feelings and the tangible world around them becomes increasingly apparent. The dichotomy between the realm of emotions and the physical reality becomes a source of internal turmoil, a dissonance that threatens to tip the delicate balance of their sanity. The craving for that genuine connection, for the liberation of emotions in a shared space, becomes a silent cacophony, echoing through the chambers of their consciousness. Amidst this tumultuous journey, a subtle transformation takes place. The roller coaster of emotions, once careening through the twists and turns of uncertainty, begins to slow down. It's a pivotal moment of breaking free, breaking free from the shackles of obstacles and the echoes of old programming. Your person stands at the precipice of self-discovery, ready to embrace a new paradigm where the limitations of the past no longer define the trajectory of their emotional voyage. Crucial to this metamorphosis is the realization that, to truly delve into the depths of soul-level love, one must cast aside the trappings of pride and ego. It's a recognition that the journey from the mind to the heart is not just metaphorical but an essential bridge in the realm of love. Love, in its purest form, requires the fusion of mental and emotional landscapes, a harmonious symphony where both elements dance in synchrony. In the kaleidoscope of emotions, your person's attraction is a singular force, a magnetic pull directed solely towards you. In their eyes, you stand as an embodiment of self-love and respect, a paragon of resilience who refuses to succumb to the specters of fear, conflict, or confusion. They admire you as a self-made individual, someone who navigates the world with diligence, hard work, and an unwavering passion. Silent though they may be, your person becomes an astute observer, delicately navigating the currents of your energy before making their presence known. It's a silent plea for reassurance, a yearning for affirmation that, amidst the ebb and flow of life, you still harbor a desire to welcome them back into the folds of your life. The unintentional pains of the past, they hope, can be submerged in the vast ocean of forgiveness and forgotten in the tapestry of shared experiences. As we draw the curtains on this introspective journey, the outro unfolds with a poignant note. Your person, gripped by an undeniable need, yearns for a tangible reunion. The anticipation becomes an arduous task, a test of patience, as they grapple with the urgency to deepen the connection that has been brewing in the unseen realms. The readiness to make this relationship official simmers beneath the surface, a flame eager to burst forth and illuminate the path ahead. In a symphony of emotions, your person's crescendo builds towards that moment, the moment of physical presence, of face-to-face -face connection. The weight is a crucible, forging a resolve that, once united, the connection between both of you will transcend the ethereal into the palpable, weaving a narrative that goes beyond the confines of the mind, into the tangible tapestry of shared existence. I find myself in desperate need of communication with you. These emotions, 
tightly held within me for an extended period, are clamoring for release. It's as though my mind is a battlefield, waging intricate conversations about the possibility of reconnecting with you. Even now, your presence lingers, offering brief moments of solace that momentarily divert my attention from the weight of my own torment. I'm left to ponder how you perceive me in the aftermath of shattering your heart, witnessing the tears that streamed down your face. The time has come for me to lay bare my truth, to reveal the emotions I've been concealing in the recesses of my soul. Admittedly, I've been less than forthcoming, weaving a tapestry of lies that might understandably breed skepticism. However, the unvarnished reality remains, I am still irrevocably in love with you, utterly captivated by the unique energy you bring into my life. Speaking these words aloud is a daunting task, as I grapple with the weight of shame, knowing the pain I have inflicted upon you. The journey we've traversed together has been tumultuous, marked by moments of euphoria and depths of despair. Now, standing on the precipice of vulnerability, I struggle to articulate the depth of my feelings. Facing you, both figuratively and literally, is a challenge. Your presence, once a source of comfort, now serves as a poignant reminder of the anguish I've caused. There's an internal conflict, wanting to reach out, to bridge the chasm I've created, yet paralyzed by the fear of rejection. The prospect of revisiting the pain I've caused, of confronting the echoes of the callous words I uttered, is a daunting proposition. It's in this quandary that I find myself yearning for your understanding, seeking a way to traverse the emotional minefield I've inadvertently laid between us. In choosing to maintain a calculated distance, I am not letting go. The outward facade, the appearance of moving on, is merely a veneer meant to shield myself from the raw reality of the consequences of my actions. The memories we created together, the shared laughter and intimate moments, are indelibly etched in my mind. Yet, I must acknowledge that the distance is a self-imposed penance, an attempt to mitigate the pain that threatens to engulf me should I confront the aftermath of my choices. It's a delicate dance between holding on and letting go, a tightrope walk over the chasm of uncertainty. The fear of rejection looms large, casting a shadow over any impulse to reach out. I grapple with the possibility that my attempt at reconciliation might only serve to amplify the pain, reinforcing the harsh reality of my transgressions. The fear of reliving the hurt I caused you, of facing the consequences of my own thoughtless words, is a formidable barrier. In seeking your guidance, I am laying bare my vulnerability. Help me navigate through the thicket of fear and uncertainty that surrounds me. I cannot keep running away from the truth, and I implore you to be a beacon of understanding in this tempest of emotions. If there's a chance for reconciliation, for healing the wounds I've inflicted, guide me through this process. I am ready to face the consequences of my actions, but I cannot do it alone. Your wisdom and compassion are the balm my wounded soul seeks as I endeavor to confront the realities I've long evaded.